sun where I find okay. If you have any it's questions as we tour along, feel free to ask. Yes. I've lived so here all my life and I'd be glad to try to answer your questions. Then in this area to the left, we have a gas station and a hardware store. Coming up to the right is Four Brothers Ice Cream Shop. He also does a golf cart rental and he has a really nice lunch menu. The bigger cruise boats dock down in this area, one from Reedville, Virginia, and one from Crisfield, Maryland. Here to the left is Island Treasures gift shop. She has nautical souvenirs, also t-shirts and sweatshirts. Our school and our grocery store are on top of my brother. Have Coming up to my left is Jim's <laughs> gift shop. She has, he has nautical souvenirs and uh, it was the first gift shop on the island. To the right is our Methodist church. It is open today if you want to slip in there later and look around. On the corner to the left is our post office. We get our mail six days a week by boat. Our mail boat also takes passengers and freight items. To the right is our health center. We have a physician's assistant and three registered nurses that live on our island and a doctor that flies in from the western shore one day a week. Also to the right you'll see Waterman's Hideaway. That's a wonderful cottage rental. <coughs> Next is Spanky's place. He has delicious hand-dipped ice cream and a really nice lunch menu. Coming up to my left is our history museum. They have a lot of facts about Tangier, past and present. They also have a small gift shop inside with handmade items by local residents. Our library is located directly in back of the museum. To my left with the blue roof is Sandy's gift shop. She has nautical souvenirs, also t-shirts and sweatshirts. Next to the left is Ch the Chesapeake House. They do a wonderful family style dinner. It's all you can eat for $22 a person and it does include seafood. To my right is the bed part of the Chesapeake House bed and breakfast. Sometime if you come back to Tangier to stay overnight at the Chesapeake House, your dinner and your breakfast is included in your fitting, and that's a very good deal. As we tour along, you'll notice some smaller golf carts. A lot of our families use this for transportation here on our island. We do have a few cars and trucks. We have a lot of scooters and bicycles, and some of us still walk. <coughs> The big white building to my left is the New Testament church. It's non-denominational. Tanger was discovered in 1608 by Captain John Smith, and it was settled about 70 years after that by John Crockett and his sons. Crockett, Pruitt, and Parks are still the predominant last names on Tangier. Our population is about 470. It has decreased in the past years. There was a time when there was 1,500 people living on Tangier. I think the reason for the decrease is smaller family sizes and also due to the fact that when our kids get finished with high school, they're very anxious to start their life on the mainland at college. They come back a lot to visit us, but most of them don't come back to leave. To my right, you'll see our volunteer fire department and our rescue squad. We also have access to the medevac helicopter. That's out of Salisbury, Maryland, and that can be here in about 15 to 20 minutes in case of an emergency. That's been a very big blessing to our island. Tour along, you'll notice that most of the homes and properties on Tangier are very well maintained. Like everywhere else, you will see a few exceptions, but for the most part, Tangier men take great pride in their homes and in their yards. We do have a few homes available for sale. They range in price from about $70,000 to about $125,000. So, for families, 
Kentucky car garaged in Crisfield, Maryland, which is our closest port. And if they want to go shopping for the day or go on vacation, they take our daily mail boat up to Crisfield and take their car from there. It's a little bit extra traveling, Tom, but we're pretty used to that. If you'll notice to the extreme left, you'll see our beach. Hello. Hello. We Hello. have a wonderful beach. It begins from that largest house right there and stretches on down toward the east about a mile. Our tourists and our locals alike enjoy our beach. This is the highest point on Tangier. And if you'll notice to the right, you'll see that most of the interior is marshland. So. When the house burned down? Uh, I think it was about three summers ago. I wish they, it was abandoned so no one was hurt. So I wish they'd go ahead and tear it down, but there's no ordinance that makes them do it. So I don't know. It's a fire. Uh, the cause was never determined. Boat industry. They leave Tangier and catch the tugboat up in Philadelphia or in New Orleans and they work for two weeks and then they're home for two weeks. Tangier has a mayor and a town council and one police officer. We don't have a jail, but we're part of Accomack County, so if there's any problems, the perpetrator gets one way boat ride over to the shore. <laughs> we don't have a lot of problems, but sometimes we have issues with alcohol and drugs or domestic disturbance. season we do get tidal flooding we get some property damage with the high winds when the evacuation order comes during a hurricane about half of our families choose to evacuate and about half choose to stay and ride it out i think it's just a personal choice a lot of our families have elderly members and i think they feel better being off island during the storm in case they were quickly have to get to a hospital so how deep is it flooded uh, in the worst, it's Sandy and Isabel, maybe a third way up all over. Now, remember, that's for that tide cycle. When the tide starts receding, it does go back, mm -hmm. which if you've got two inches of water in your living room, I don't guess that's much comfort. <laughs> but anyway, at least we know it's not going to be there for days and days. But all that water <coughs> and tide winds, that's a bad, bad combination. We're on the western side of the island now, located to the left, behind the houses, running the whole length of the western side is our airport. It's open to small plane traffic all year. Adjacent to our airport is our seawall. That does a great job of protecting our island on the western side from erosion. We are in great need of a seawall on the eastern side of our island. We're losing Tangier at a rate of about 10 to 15 feet per year in some places on the eastern side. And that's a very scary thought. We've been inducted into the National Registry for Landmarks, and we're hoping that's going to generate some funding dollars for an east side seawall. You are all were featured on CNN not yeah. too long ago. Yeah, we were. were did you yep. believe that was a fair uh, perception of uh, what's going I'll on here? I tell you the truth. I didn't see the um, okay. the art the um, show. Okay. I didn't see it, so I really wouldn't be able to, uh, to comment. All right, fair enough. Uh, we get our electricity through underground cables that run from the eastern shore of Virginia. We do have a power plant here on the island that it's used mostly for backup. Most of the Folks on Tangier have satellite dish for TV and internet hookup for the computer. Straight up ahead, a little bit to the right, the big white building is our school. We have a wonderful school, kindergarten through 12th grade, a teacher for every class and especially a teacher. Our annual enrollment is usually between 60 and 70 kids. Our graduating classes range in size from 5 to 10. So we had nine seniors to graduate. Most of our kids choose Virginia colleges or the military after graduation. Hey, 
guys. Hey. Oh. So we have one grocery store on hand here. A grocery store owner also owns his own boat. So he goes to the mainland one day a week to get supplies and he brings them back to us. To my left with the red roof, you'll see the baby wind. She has individual cottages on each side of the main house. She also has a big deck in back for overlooking the bay at sunset while you're drinking your coffee. She serves a full homemade breakfast with your stay there and she is open year round. Tanger does a wonderful tourist trade. We have three tour boats that come into Tangier every day, May through September. One from Reedville, Virginia, one from Anancock, Virginia, and one from Crisfield, Maryland. Crisfield, Maryland is our closest port. It's about 10 miles from Tangier. Most of our transactions take place through Crisfield. is our school gymnasium. They have PE classes there, also junior, senior prom. Sometimes during the winter months they do volleyball and basketball games to raise money for stuff that they need at school. Up to the left, you'll see our marina. We get a lot of small boat traffic, especially during the summer months. Sailboats and yachts come in for the night or for the weekend. Also, some of our workmen keep their work boats moored up there.